How fast can it lap Sukuba? Episode 6, the Xiaomi Mustang GT 350R. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to Houseborn's World YouTube channel. This week on How Fast Can It Lap Sukuba, as you would have just seen, I've brought some American muscle. Now, there's a couple of American muscle cars I really like. They've just missed the cut for this episode. But for the first proper American muscle car, I am bringing to you the Ford Shelby Mustang GT 350R. I absolutely love this car. 526 brake horsepower, 582 newton meters of torque. This thing shifts. Now, the only thing sort of going against it is its 1600 kilogram curb weight, but it's not as bloaty as something like a Nissan GTR. Now, I am really, and I mean really, really surprised by this car in Assetto Corsa. It's a type of car where you question should or should I not run with traction control? So this car was set up by IX Assetto MP1 and the traction control in this car is brilliant. In a quick test I did, I tried it with traction on and traction off. Obviously with traction off, the rear is gonna get very loose, but the difference between having it on and having it off and being able to put the power down is hardly anything. So for this run, we're running with traction control on. Now I'm hoping this we're gonna get some really good times from this car. It drives superbly, it handles superbly. You just have to manage the weight just very gently, but it's so tractable. I think this is gonna have a very, very good place on the leaderboard. As usual, six laps, let's see what happens. Okay, so here we are in the Mustang GT 350R, manual transmission. Revs all the way to just about 8,200 RPM. We're in first gear, we've got traction on. And we'll make our way out the pits. I'm just going to take it steady on the first lap. Front end washes just slightly wide, but then we can instantly get on the power. And that supercharged engine is really strong. The brakes in this GT350 are fantastic. Straight back on the power. A little dab of the brakes, get it turned in. Back on the power again. Manage the weight here, just get the timing right. Put power down. And then we're hitting the brakes hard. Get it going in, turn in a little bit late there. And the power pushing out the corner. And then we're pushing hard now. Fourth gear, hitting 120 on the brakes. Let the front end settle back in and then we're pushing back hard on the wheels, pushing the car out. Taking a bit of fourth and then hard on the brakes into second, really slowing it in, turning it in hard now, pushing. chicane on the brakes again getting it turned in with a tc on we can get on the power early it's just holding us back there but now we're on the power we we'll double the brakes turning it in that was good pushing that's nice rear kick slightly on the brakes on the brakes on the brakes getting it turned in hard on the flat on the power now come on push us out and building that speed with a supercharged engine. And now uh, on the brakes, on the brakes. Whoa, we're very late there. I'm gonna have to drop it down. Second. I think we've lost a bit of time there. And we're late on the brakes, very late on the brakes there. Oh, now time's disqualified. 
Okay, and on to the results. And for the eagle-eyed viewers out there, you would have noticed that I accidentally done my run in practice mode. Now, the reasons for this was I wanted to test whether I wanted to use traction control or not in the car. And then when I done my timed hot lap runs, I was still in practice mode and I forgot. Now, for continuity and wanting to make sure that everything is done on a level playing field, I changed, I this morning went back out changing it into hot lap mode. Not that I think there's any difference between the practice and the hot lap because they have the same setups. But as I say, I want to keep everything on a level playing field. So after doing three laps in the practice mode and quitting it at that, I then moved on to only three laps this morning in the time trial mode and I actually recorded a faster time. Now that time was 1 minute 2.495 and I think this puts it about third place on the leaderboard. I'll have to double check the leaderboard for that. I'll put the leaderboard back up in the background. But that is a very, very good run. If this car was just a little bit lighter, a little less weight, or maybe a little more power, it would sit even higher on the leaderboard because it's a very composed car. It's got very little body roll. It transitions weight really, really well. And it gets the power down so effectively. This Ford Mustang Shelby GT350R, we think it'd be a nightmare. But whoever set this up in AC, it's an absolute peach. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video playing out with a bit of footage from us going around the track. And I will see you pretty soon in more videos to come. Thank you for watching guys and girls. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.